Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Lumen Moon Tarot. So everybody, I'm here checking in on the energy and being led to use the What's the Vibe deck, okay? Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind, and thank you so much everyone for everything. Thank you for being so good to me out here. You guys are always so nice, you know? Um, thank you for all of the comments, all of the confirmations. Um, thank you to all of my subscribers. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, welcome to everybody new here. All right, Spirit, what messages do you have for my beautiful collective? Oh, boy. Oh, the third party is gossiping. Gossiping, gossiping, gossiping about you. Being really nosy. They could be um, looking for anything on social media, anything to like trash talk you about or criticize you for, or I feel like they're feeling very threatened though. Okay. It's looking to me like they're getting kind of worn out. Um, they could be doing a lot of drinking. Oh, this person is wasted. They're addicted to something here. It's either... It's either um, alcohol or maybe a substance. This karmic is in really bad shape, okay? And here they are talking about you. I feel like that's, that's part of why they're having problems, okay? The more um, they have your name in their mouth, um, the more spirit is going to... Um, I don't know. I feel like it's, they're getting their karma. Their life is kind of hitting rock bottom. I feel like they feel very threatened. So they know that their, um, their continuous cycle with a masculine is coming to an end. I feel like this is a karmic feminine or karmic woman. Okay. I feel like she's been doing some spell work as well. It says here, lesson learned. I'm telling you, spirit is going to, spirit is already giving this karmic a lot of issues. She's having, I feel like she's having some mental issues as well. She's having, um, her addictions are getting out of control. Let's just say it like that. Her addictions are out of control. Okay, she's doing some really bad things. Okay, really bad maybe bad substances and she is wasted but i really do feel like she's um doing some spell work some dark magic something also about tea leaf readings this could be a somebody who reads tea leaves or maybe she had a reading done on you See, there's a masculine who is suffering with this karmic. They do not want to be with them anymore. Suffering in silence. Unspoken desires. This person needs to speak up. I feel like they need to tell the truth. They need to, because this karmic, I'm telling you, her health is going to start going downhill, like fast, okay? Her life is going to start going downhill fast. She's always kind of either drunk or wasted and this masculine they want to be with you she knows it i feel like um this masculine you know it almost feels like they try to leave and they can't i feel like she continuously is doing spell work on this person the spell work may not be on you it may be on this masculine I, like it's all the time like it's all the time because this masculine is constantly trying to exit. They're constantly trying to get away from this karmic. She's doing some spell work, but it's like, it's so much. I feel like this masculine is kind of onto it. Like they, they sort of, yeah, see, they're realizing it here. They're having some kind of breakthrough. Do you, do you see how this is shattering apart? It's like a breakthrough. So they're going to break through any kind of spell work. And she knows it. That's one of the reasons why she feels threatened and desperate. Okay, plus she does not... Here's the thing. She doesn't care about this masculine. She's messing with their head. Really, all this spell work is messing with this masculine's head. Um, 
it really is there's some kind of like demented sort of like it's a hint of demented energy here like there's something as as they have a breakthrough from this from this um spell work there's they're changed somehow okay or maybe this person is just they've stayed in this karmic situation for so long they could just be becoming karmic now but it it's doing something to this masculine and it's it's also affecting this karmic's health her looks the um her any kind of she's not having any success any kind of opportunities are being blocked um, she's competing with you. She doesn't care about this masculine. She just wants them to stay away from you. She just doesn't want you to have this masculine. Honestly, I feel like by the time this masculine breaks free from the spell work, they're going to really need to go into hermit energy or take some time to heal from this because it, I feel like it's, see, they, it's changing this person. You know, it's giving me this feeling of being a bit demented. I, I Maybe it's just the anger um, and the darkness of that karmic situation that's just getting to this masculine. I feel like they're about to break free from this, okay? They're about to break free. Uh, yep, they're about to escape. Thank you. Huh? Thank you. They're about to escape that situation. This person, um, very soon, they're going to be packing up their bags, loading up a van, right? This person may drive a van. They could drive a yellow van. They may need to stay at somebody's house. Um, probably, well, they may want to stay at your house, but they may need to stay with a friend or a family member for a while because they're going to realize whatever this karmic all the spell work this karmic has done it has affected this person's mind like they'll know it and they're gonna want to heal from that they could even have like both of them could have the same kind of addictions as well so this person may even need to go into like a rehab okay I feel like they need to rehabilitate somehow anyway. They either need to, because it really does, it, you know, they're giving me the vibe of, of like the Joker, okay? You know, from from Batman movies, all right? Um, like a, uh, spending too much time in toxicity, I feel, is what changed that person into the Joker. And that's the kind of energy that I'm feeling off of this person. Like, it's really demented. It feels demented. And so they're going to have to heal, okay? Because what this spell work, it's just been too much. It's, she's done too much. But now her health is taking, like, um, taking a big dive. I'm telling you, her health is crashing. Um, her whole life is going to, like, fall apart i feel like she's about to get some horrible karma yeah this was on the bottom of the deck before see and you're over here nothing seems to be affecting you i feel like you have a lot of protection here taking some you time right maybe getting out into nature so what this is giving me is that you're just too high vibing you're too grounded and you're too stable to um, have any of this spell work affecting you at all okay it just can't it like can't penetrate your strength your high vibes okay those high vibrations it almost protects you it, it feels like there's a protective bubble around you here um, from any kind of spiritual attacks you know, still keep up with your cleansings, right? Right. Take your spiritual bath, say your prayers, ask the divine to protect you from any negative energy being sent your way, right? Rebuke it, okay? Do your home cleansings, burn your sage, you know, do those, keep doing those things. 
because there's it's almost like there's kind of been constant spiritual attacks um in different directions okay right now it seems like the, the like the spiritual attack is concentrated on this masculine because she can monitor um the effects that it's having on this masculine and that's why she's continuously doing it see love is fighting to find a way okay this masculine is in love with you really and that love is fighting to find a way and that and she keeps continuously sending him the spell work so it's like this in this masculine's head okay um yeah it's you know what i feel like this is about to just kind of the whole thing is just going to shatter here this whole thing is just going to shatter and there's about to be a huge breakthrough there's just been too much spell work done this person's been unable to protect themselves from any spiritual attacks because they're living with the attacker All right, what else can you show me? But this uh, this karmic woman, karmic feminine, she is messed up. Like, I feel like she's, like, constantly getting wasted. You know? They could have been doing this together. Like I said, this person's going to need some kind of therapy or some kind of um, rehabilitation, rehab. All right, maybe counseling. Yeah, but they're, see, they're going to be longing to talk to you. And it, it's all, com this is coming in under running, okay? And this is after the breakthrough. And once they leave that energy, once they leave that karmic place, a lot of this kind of clears up, okay? They need to get out of that environment because I'm telling you, there is so much spell work being done. I feel like they have a home that they share. There's so much spell work being done in that home that it's just a very dark place and that energy is sitting in that house. And it's being directed towards this masculine, but it, like that that dark nastiness, it never leaves it. It wants this person leaves to a different environment. It's going to be easier for them to heal for sure. They're going to continue to con continue to clear their head and wake up. Okay, that they need to get out of there. They need to get the. They need to get the F out of there. Okay. And once they do, boom, it's like they just want to come towards you. They, they, they miss you. They long for you. That's them trying to break free from this already. And it's like everything sort of clears up here. And I feel like this person's going to be wanting to come in and talk to you after that. All right. What else can you show me? Healing. But they, they need to heal. Okay? They need to go through a healing process. This person is going to need... They're going to need a major energy clearing, okay? I'll tell you everything that they're going to need. They're going to need a major energy clearing, and that may also um, include a, like a shaman, okay? Someone who truly knows what they're doing, and this could be something that may take several, um, several sessions, all right, so they're going to, because there is so much intense spell work that they have in here. They're going to need some therapy. They're going to possibly need some counseling. And um, they're going to need to do a lot of energy clearing, okay? <sighs> yeah, they need to heal. They're going to need um, and possibly rehab and possibly rehab they're going to have to go through this much because this karmic issued all of the spell work so often and so much and they chose to be there for a time okay they've been kind of trying to escape but they can't seem to leave and they've been there too long 
okay? The first thing they need to do, though, is get out of that environment. They need to get out of the, as far away as they can from that dark energy, and then they need to get, I feel like they're going to need a shaman to clear them from this energy, okay? Let's see how they're feeling because I'm the way their mind has been um, twisted and demented. Uh, I just want to see what emotions they're in here. Envious, and I you see here I don't like that. And this is that, this is that being off kind of energy, like. Um, Twisted, distorted, okay? A distorted points of view. I don't like that they're jealous, envious in this energy, okay? Because they are about to come towards you. And I feel like they're going to come towards you before they've done all this healing. So this is kind of a warning for you, okay? For whoever this is for. And, like, if you get chills and goosebumps and stuff during a reading, that's also a clear sign that this is for you. I don't know, I don't know why I was led to just say that. Um, yeah. I feel like this person, look, they need to spend some time. This is that too much time in that dark energy space. Too much time. Um, that they've spent in that dark energy, that home that they've been in, just constantly being, I, I don't know, it's, it's like constantly having dark energy just slung around everywhere, okay? They need to get out of there. They need to get out of there because they're spiraling down a dark hole. And this is that demented energy also that I'm picking up on. It's like, it's changing this person. They're also having a very hard time dealing with the guilt of what they've done to you. I feel like this, um, this is heavy on this person's mind. Yeah, of what they've done to you. This person's going to be reaching out to you. I feel like soon, but they need to do some healing here. Okay, they could be numbing. Like I said, I feel like they may have some addictions. Because they just can't cope with the situation. That dark energy is so thick. Look at, there's layers and layers. If you look at this picture really close, I don't know if you can see it. But there's like layers and layers and layers and layers of darkness. That's what's in their home. That's because this karmic did so much spell work on them all the time. But yeah, they're going to break through that. They're going to be in a lot of regret. They may have a good long cry as well. And then I feel like they're going to reach out to you. They're going to want you to trust them again. Okay, they're going to want to be happy. But remember, just a warning, man. This person, they haven't healed at this point, and they're still delusional, distorted, okay? Some of that energy will clear up, but this spell work has made this person not quite right. Yeah, just, just a warning of how to be, just be careful how you handle any communication with this person. Okay, and I wouldn't turn my back on them. I wouldn't, I mean, like, like physically, I wouldn't, I would always be facing them so I could watch what they're doing. Do you see what I mean? Okay, so just be careful, I guess, and watch your back. There you go. Just be careful and watch your back because th they're very daydreamy here. You know, they're longing for you. They're very regretful. They reach out to you. They think they can get you, you know, it almost feels like they think they can get you to trust them right away and both of you will be happy and la la la, you know, and skip off into the sunset. 
and I I just feel like um, something about their mental state is just not right. Look, I can't let go of you. It's getting possessive. Okay, they may get very possessive. They could even get angry. Definitely emotions are overwhelming them. It says here, I long for your kiss. I'm obsessed with you. But they need to figure themselves out because they actually feel lost. They know there's something that's changed about them. But they don't know how to face it. And the steps that they need to take are going to be extremely difficult for this person. Yeah, but they can't stop thinking about you. They know the way that they treated you was wrong. And they're saying that you you're just you're you're too nice. I don't deserve your kindness, you know. Um so this person does feel guilty for how they treated you, but then they can go from that to snapping and and being very aggressive. Okay? They could get aggressive. So yeah, it says, I am the man. You know, I don't, mm, collective, watch your back with this person. All this spell work, it's really affected their mind, okay? Anyway, that's what I have for this reading. I do hope this helps. I hope it resonates. If you like this video, please hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel, you guys. Join this awesome soul tribe. And until next time, everyone, take care of you and peace out.